The borders of any given territory have often been important in preserving its natural environment and also any special culture of the inhabitants. The sea is the natural border of an ancient place that lies in the eastern Mediterranean Sea, beautiful, wild, rich in history and traditions. Its name is Sardinia. In this land, a civilization was born and developed in such a way that not even today we are sure of many details of its history. And even though we do not know the name of the islanders that lived in that historical period, called Nuragica, taking the name from the type of buildings that these people erected all over the island. Two monuments built stone upon stone with spacious living quarters inside, characteristic details which gives us the ancient word for these buildings, Nuragi. On the island territory, over 7,000 Nuragi have been officially recorded, many of which consist of just a single tower Others are a little more complicated. The great voiceless stones, silent and inanimate, in modern times now begin to tell us more about the men who lived there so long ago. They tell us of how they were used to build these towers and how they defended it against eventual aggressors. They tell us how they were placed carefully and intelligently, following a precise plan, using simple methods, but at the same time both sophisticated and clever, so much so as to have made the history of this island. About 70 years ago, a young archaeologist, Giovanni Liliu, near Berumini, started to work on a site that would take many years to finish to try to uncover one of the most important monuments in this neuragic culture. Su Nuragi, which means the Nuragi, was not built all at the same time, but over a period of about 100 years. For this building, it was indispensable to use the great volcanic basalt masses that came from the nearby Giara, a sort of mine. After the construction of the Mastio or Dungeon in the principal tower, there then followed the first four great towers adjacent to the first, and then in different periods, another eight external towers were added, united by a mighty defensive wall. The Mastio was built about 1,500 years before the birth of Christ and originally possessed three rooms built one after the other in a truncated comb shape with a vault closed a tolos, that is the use of the great masses at the base of the building and then even smaller stones gradually reaching the top to obtain a false cupola until finally closing the room completely. Today, the tallest one, the smaller one, no longer exists. 200 years later, in the period called the recent Bronze Age, we have the appearance of a mighty boundary wall and four towers that are arranged perfectly in four cardinal points. As we can see from an aerial viewpoint, we are able to appreciate the perfect four-lobbed position of the structure. Between the mastio with the perimeter towers, we now have a central courtyard with a well, originally about 20 meters in depth, from which water was drawn for daily use. Around 1100 BC, 
together with other modifications that were made to the nuragi rising up around the structure, in particular on the eastern side, we find the nuragic village, a series of circular homes built generally of only one room. To the base of the building built of stone, wooden beams were added, which were then covered in reeds. Today of these huts that for centuries were full of life, there only remains the original foundations in stone and other numerous elements that reconduct us to the habits of the people that lived there once. A grindstone for grinding grain. A ritual area where water was taken from a small tank and heated in this oven, of which the opening is still visible, and then poured into the concave stone in the center of this small room, at the time completely closed, and where you could sit and whilst enjoying the steam coming from the boiling water, probably together with others, celebrate the cult of the steam bath. About 500 BC, after 1,000 years from its formation, the Nuragic civilization ceased to exist. Professor Lilius' team found numerous objects during their excavations. Appropriately restored by experts, today these finds are exhibited in a special place called Casa Zapata, a series of buildings that were built by the noble Zapata family from Aragon in the 16th century. Towards the end of the 80s, the municipality of Barumani bought the entire complex with the idea of creating an important museum center. But a great surprise would leave them speechless. Another new ragi was discovered. The archaeological dig site that was excavated discovered a three-lobed installation that was constructed entirely from local marl stone and comprised of a principal central tower, then an adjoining courtyard connecting the towers, and a cylindrical well that was excavated entirely from the solid rock. At this point, the local government made the wise decision to preserve both the Nuragi called Nuragi Ecclesia, because it is so near to large local church, as well as the historical house. By making it possible to properly visit the Nuragic complex, making large openings into the walls of the house to create a system of suspended transparent glass walkways, as well building glass cabinets to display the precious objects found in the dig sites, they have created their museum center and also making it very original and educational. Nuragi is the most important of the 30 Nuragi that can be found in the municipality of Barumani, a monument that is appreciated all over the world, especially thanks to UNESCO, who in 1997 declared it a World Heritage Site, recognizing it as both unique and exceptional because of the creative genius of prehistoric men.